When I'm older, I believe I could play a role in making sure the expansion of the Global Horizon Project succeeds and helps to improve many lives across the planet. I recognise that we have potential to create a successful transition from the older societies to this new way of life. When we go public with the Horizon projects and the media around the world, there could be a massive demand for it to be expanded because it makes so much sense. We have the very best in science and technology to support human well-being and collective potential rather than people leading individualistic lives. More can be achieved when we work together on solving problems. Societies, like all forms of life that are in the process of evolution, undergo changes constantly. The interaction between humans and their environments generates the next most probable course of events. Horizon One is a design culture. Uh, it has a purpose. And this purpose is to promote an experimental attitude towards life itself, while harnessing and developing uh, the best in science and technology uh, in order to promote human well-being. Our community is high-tech, and we are at the cutting edge of scientific research in uh, Europe uh, when it comes to um, agricultural processes, machine automation, and understanding um, the complex diversity of our own behaviour. Our agency has pledged long-term funding uh, for various horizon communities so across Europe in order to achieve a number of aims. Firstly, uh, to help produce a citizenry that can live in a world that does not contribute to climate change or pollutes the planet excessively. Secondly, to experiment with utilizing uh, scientific decision-making processes in order to arrive at more optimal, healthier ways of living. The advanced research work that goes on here at the moment uh, has to do with developing new technological tools to free us from the mundane and repetitive labors and uh, allows us to socialize, to be creative, to invent, and to deal with the world's problems through applied practices. We are made up of uh, highly skilled architects, engineers, scientists and educators. And it is our intention to demonstrate to the public um, that a society can be socially sustainable for everyone. And that we can look forward to an optimistic future as one species, uh, free from the burdens of money, competition, uh, war and poverty. A planned society that takes care of the needs of its people and that attempts to elevate everyone's potential in life. The UN's always strive to achieve peace in the world, but the issue we've not been addressing is how we design environments in our complex world today which enable and support peaceful behaviours between people. Horizon One offers these blueprints, developed through their years of applied scientific research. Never before as any governmental body uh, taken on such a challenge. To nurture a culture such as this is vital if you want to see our, our species surviving healthily into the future. If nations react positively to the release of this documentary film, the Global Horizon Network of Communities would like to help governments with policy making and to see whether some transitional ideas can be considered. If the Horizon project is successful, then we want to see international cooperation and its further expansion to help produce a larger network of these cities across the globe. Well, you could call it uh, a necessary emergency plan for Europe and eventually the rest of the world. We predict that public interest will be strong over the next decade 
and there might be public call for some of our technology and city systems to gain more attention worldwide. This place isn't just about advancing scientific knowledge that can be applied to society's issues. It's a way of living. It's an interpretation, a new interpretation, an updated interpretation of human values. We approach architectural design with a systems thinking approach, preventing wasteful space and creating efficient structures. The physical space of Horizon One has been designed in a circular arrangement for up to 2,000 inhabitants. It's easier to get from one point in the small-scale city to another when you live in a circular arrangement. The distances are shorter. We have an automated transportation system that enables us to travel anywhere from the residential dwellings on the quiet outskirts to the research labs, library, communal food hall and kitchen, art centres, music centres and to the many rural areas outside the Horizon One development. We are surrounded by rural scenery. It's like paradise. A paradise obtained through science and a willingness to improve our environments. It's already here on Earth and requires eventual expansion and open demonstrations to the public. Behavioural science shows us that the environment can modulate neuronal pathways and strengthen certain neuronal connections through operant reinforcement. So, if the environment can change behaviour, then architectural design must do so as well. The technical aspect of Horizon One is that the city works on a feedback system. Um, for example, uh, our energy use is signalled to our own en energy grid and the computers uh, determine whether uh, energy output needs to be increased uh, to any specific area uh, such as our hydroponic farms which are busy growing our lettuce and tomatoes or um, a construction area at the perimeter of our city where a new classroom is being built. Uh, this is called um, thinking in systems or a systems approach to living. And it works at Horizon One because um, all systems communicate with each other to create a steady state environment and uh, which is maintained automatically within our community. This means there's uh, little need for uh, human intervention which uh, allows us to carry on with our normal tasks whether it is an artistic pursuit or um, a scientific project or just simply uh, leisure time spent with our families and children. This kind of um, system thinking is taught to our children here. Cybernetics is a study of whole systems. And since everything is part of a system, from atoms to galaxies, it is a universal concept. As a member of the planning team at Horizon One, I am responsible for ensuring that the optimal conditions for our people are met through scientific experimentation so that the people here can live richly reinforcing lives. It all comes down to how your culture arranges its environments to excel men, women and children to their fullest potential. We have mixed teams of highly skilled individuals from different scientific backgrounds which test and experiment before arriving at cooperative decisions. Optimal expertise derived from the scientific method can help guide decision making for any community on technical problems. Our culture recognises that most of the world's problems are of a technical nature and require technical solutions. A science of government is in place at all horizon cities across Europe. Any questions we ask along the way is whether a proposed decision to do something differently improves social or environmental sustainability. In order for a culture to survive into the future, the people that are part of it have to evaluate their practices uh, to uh, enable its survival. Uh, this means finding ways of um, preventing pollution, preventing uh, wasteful use of resources and by adopting behavioural techniques that promote uh, kindness and empathy and uh, that uh, allow us to collaborate with one another. I am currently working on a scientific project at Horizon One 
which concerns the testing of new hydroponic technologies and experimenting with new approaches to automated agricultural methods. We grow all kinds of vegetables and fruits here for our citizens, ranging from tomatoes, lettuce, cucumber, onion, peppers, all the way through to tropical fruits like bananas, melons and mangoes, all in our temperature controlled biodomes. We can carry on being self-sufficient with our food as we re-sow leftover seeds from what we grow. We are living very exciting times right now and I feel very fortunate to have been selected to contribute my skills and knowledge to the research projects taking place at Horizon One. I'm involved in a long-term project that explores artificial intelligence and how it could be applied to labour-saving devices and machines so that more and more repetitive tasks are being performed by machine technology that learns on the job and in real time. I'm also involved in an international effort with other Horizon City systems to optimise the capabilities of a new kind of technology called the Internet of Things that looks to bring everyday objects into an online network that allows them to communicate with each other. The idea behind this is to improve our everyday lives by ensuring that we know whether objects we come into contact with on a daily basis are performing as they should be. We can also apply this technology to the natural environment around us through sensor technologies so that we can understand how the environment is changing around us and at what rate we need to maintain our pace with the environmental changes. These are all important aspects of any high-tech culture. Learning about the physical world and doing so with a social awareness of societal problems is what sets us apart from how your society teaches your children about science. For us, it's all about the social goals and the social implications of scientific knowledge and being able to apply that to the betterment of others. We have evidence-based teaching programmes that are designed to allow children to work collectively on learning tasks, as well as to nurture in them a desire to self-develop. We teach emotional self-regulation and social awareness about the world we live in. We know of no other school system that equips children with these kinds of behavioural tools so that they can arrange their own environments and reinforces in life. It's like science of behaviour has been taken to a whole new level and as educators and teachers start to visit Horizon One in the thousands very soon, we will have the evidence and data that demonstrates our success in treating teaching as a science. At the moment, one of our largest educational research programmes involves a joint research effort with academic communities outside Horizon One. This programme has to do with trialling new kinds of technological approaches to enhancing the classroom environment for the children. We're attempting to combine technology and the learning experience of a child to improve the rate of learning in children. There are so many problems in the world. I get a real buzz from knowing I'm able to solve some of them from such a young age with the guidance of teachers and engineers here at Horizon One. At the moment, I'm working with the adult engineers as a young apprentice along summer school lessons. The engineering project I'm currently working on is helping in the design of low-cost prefabricated housing for the homeless in London. As part of this, I went on a field trip to central London to meet some of the homeless and discuss their needs and see whether they'd be willing to leave the inner city and come use our dome structures. The domes I'm currently working on are a new innovative type of home environment that come complete with any of the basic facilities you'd expect to see in a normal home today. I don't hope for a transition. I'm working towards making one so people outside Horizon 1 can understand the benefits of what the project has to offer to us all, leaving no one behind, no matter what the social background. I love science. I get to work in laboratories with high-tech equipment and work on real problems that affect so many. I also get to continue to study or research whatever I like when my school years are over. In actual fact, the school of life never really ends, as I consider education to be life itself. I think I have many ideas that I can offer to the world. I am really interested in human behaviour and understanding why we behave in particular ways. I think my knowledge of behavioural science helps me to critically analyse what is going on outside the Horizon City systems. From what I can see in news reports in the media, many forms of corrupt behaviours are being rewarded in the societies you come from. The environments are not arranged so that corrupt behaviours do not become rewarded. 
I also notice that your governments don't appear to take a detailed planning approach to developing a society that functions in a sustainable way. It seems to me that the game changer for your societies is a constant acceleration of technology. Technological changes push your political and legal systems in new directions, but not enough to create large-scale changes the way people live from day to day, like we've achieved here so quickly.